Welcome to the scale of the universe. Here we're going to be doing something really cool. The smallest thing ever thought of. Max Karl Ernst Ludwig Planck. He's a German theoretical physicist who described what he thought was the smallest measurement that could ever be taken. This is tiny. We're skipping through a whole bunch here. Because you have to remember, most everything is made up of almost nothing. But it's the little bits in there that matter. Makes you, me, the sea, everything in it. Here we go. Quarks. Up, down, left, right, strange, backwards, forwards, whatever. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Lengths shorter than that are just theorized. They're not actually proven. Larger than this, we have made ways to measure them. So, electron microscopes, such and such. Some are still somewhat theorized, but you can see here the electron, the classical. Incredible Hulk stuff right there. Gamma ray wavelength. The gamma ray uh, radiation. It's not something you can see, per se, but it is there. Hydrogen. It's everywhere, trust me. As we move on out, we're going to keep moving on out. Don't forget, Kerry and Michael Huang uh, created this for all of us to enjoy. You can see it on their website. I'll put it in the description. That's a transistor gate. Your computer is filled with those things. So tiny. They live inside of little chips. You can't even see them. Oh, here's mom and dad. X chromosomes. Two of those come from your mom, and a Y and an X, the Y is the one below, comes from your father. When they combine, if two X's combine, that would be a girl. If an X and Y combine, that would be a, a boy. That's your red blood cells. Keeps you ticking. It's kind of like the juice in your battery. Take care of your red blood cells, okay? Iron. This is interesting. The largest cell in the human body. Looks a little bit like a chicken egg, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean the yolk. Oh, mist droplet right next to it. Have you ever seen fog? That's what fog is made of. Droplets of mist. This is what's in your TV screen or the screen you're looking at now. Tons and tons of those things. The three primary colors. Red, green, and blue. There's a grain of salt. We all see that. Don't eat too much salt. Everything you buy pretty much comes with it on it. It's another, it's one of the most abundant elements on earth. So you're getting a lot of salt, whether you know it or not. Yeah, sure. It t makes stuff taste better, but it's all in your head. <laughs> Grain of rice. There's a penny. Look at that. Let's go back there. Just under two centimeters. Now, I know in the States you don't know what a centimeter is, but it's basically the width of your pinky finger. So two pinky fingers should be almost a penny. A little bit more, actually. What? 
Oh, it's Stickman. There you go. There's, in fact, over 8 billion of us now. Wonder if that giraffe could take on that Tyrannosaurus Rex. Probably not. Beautiful creatures, the blue whale. Majestic in every way. And they are also mammals. There's the tallest building in the world. If that still stands today, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if something else is new. But the Burj Khalifa. That's way up there. Vatican City. A lot of people didn't know this. It's its own country. Its own rules. Its own government. Its own police force. Obviously heavily religiously influenced. That's why it's called Vatican City. Let's carry on. We're getting to the bigger stuff now. On the right there you can see the Mariana Trench. That's the deepest depth of the ocean. Crazy deep. The Hadron Collider. That's what we used to find all the little tiny stuff that we were looking at earlier. Here's the country of Rwanda. Nice shape, don't you think? The land of a thousand hills. Italy. A lot of smart people come from Italy. Painters, sculptors, scientists. This was all one person. So many other uh, geniuses come from there. Texas. Everything's bigger and better in Texas, right? Texans are proud people. i got to give them that. Here we go. I can see the earth coming up, but we'll do the moon first. You didn't know it took 27 days for the moon to go around the earth, did you? Definitely, we have to take care of earth. Because you can't live on the moon or any other planet at this point. At least one that we can get to. That's the Minecraft world. For all the young people out there. Look how big that is. It's bigger than Earth. Virtual. Virtual is the key word here. Scrolling out. Let's see our big friend. This is what keeps us all going. This is our energy source. It's our battery. Without this... The earth would be as hard as a rock frozen solid. So, a lot of ancient religions uh, worship the sun. And I think we should still continue to consider it uh, our savior to a point. That's if you stacked all the humans up on top of each other. I didn't put this in there. <laughs> it's just a funny thing. From the Earth to the Sun. Technically an astronomical unit, or AU for short. It's still a used measurement to this day. Now we're getting to the very, very large. Now that is the Voyager 1 that was sent out 45 years ago. It hasn't stopped moving. When you push something in space, it keeps going and going at that speed unless it hits something. 
and it's been going ever since at quite a high speed. That's how far light travels in one day. It seems like a large amount of space, but it's not. Light is actually slow compared to the size of the universe. And we only know what we know. The reason we don't know beyond what we can see is because the light from there may never reach us. The universe is expanding faster than um, the light will be able to reach our telescopes or anything. So we will just never get to see those things. But we got a lot to deal with in our little area. So let's focus on that. We'll get into the very, very, very large now. These are nebulas. Which are gigantic. These are the things that form stars and planets. And kind of make everything do what it has to do. And it doesn't have to do anything. We just hope it does. That's where we live. Inside the Milky Way. Which is... Um, the galaxy beyond galaxies. I really hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about the scale of the universe. And uh, again, credits to Carrie and Michael Hong. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe there's a ton of things on our rerun channel we have games we have entertainment we have news all different types of things give us a, a subscription there and uh we'll keep making great content like this for you okay have a good day and take care of your planet